Uh, Stephen, you're next. Before every World Championship final, I used to give a motivational team talk to my snooker queue, or as I called him, <laughs> Sir Potts a lot. <laughs> <laughs> David's I team. Hope that's true. I just hope it's true. Could you give us a flavour of the Ooh. motivational talk you'd give Sir Potts a lot? <laughs> um, I used to put them in the sort of the corner of the dressing room. Yeah. Stephen, I don't want to interrupt your flow, but <laughs> if you are no. going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he's not looking for drugs again, is he? <laughs> <laughs> this, and it's not just any cue. This is a cue signed by one of the greatest snooker players of all time. Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> now, why don't you recreate the motivational talk? You're in the dressing room, ready to go out, you've done your practice, and it's just, come on, it's me and you today. <laughs> <laughs> you and I get to the table, we're just going to pot every ball, we're going to clear up and win the frame. Come on, sir, pot the lock. <laughs> oh, yes. I feel motivated. Stephen, I'm buying into this, but if you were playing and it wasn't going that well and you came in for the break, would you, would you give it a stern talking to? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would sometimes come in and, and say, well, what are you doing? You know, because it's not, because it obviously it's nothing to do with me. It'd be great if the queue went, what am I doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> when did you first acquire Sir Potts a lot? Uh, 14. You were um, 14 years old? Yep, and it got actually broken. Um, Later on in my career, I was I come back from Thailand. Yes. We couldn't take the queues on board after 9-11. Yes. So we had to put them in, in the luggage. That's the problem with 9-11, the queues got a lot worse, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. 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 Chris, are you a sneaker fan? You seem to know the lingo. I haven't always been blind, so I used to watch it and I played it as well until my eyes had got worse. So I had to reduce myself down to a pool table and then, you know, and then drafts. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do believe it's true because I think it's the kind of thing that successful sportsmen do. They have these little quirks and it's what makes them amazing. And Stephen was amazing. Aww. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, Laura. Yes. What do you think? I think it's true because when you speak about Sir Potts a lot, your eyes light up and you're so enthusiastic and excited. So for that alone, I just feel like no one else could get that excited about a stick. So I think it's true because of that. <laughs> well, I must admit, I'm pretty yes. lost without my stick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a talking to now. We need to get to the bank today. Yeah. Are, you, are you feeling up to your game? Have you given your stick a name, though? So finds a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, David, what about when, you? When did you name your cue Sir Potts a lot? Um, it was a name actually my granny oh. gave. Oh. gave it to. So. I have to say, if this is a lie, I'm going to totally reevaluate you as a human being. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe that. You, firstly, in high-pressure sporting situations, mm -hmm. there's going to be a certain amount of superstition. You want to do the same thing again and again and again. That's why I never wear trousers for this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in a way, there's a clash, isn't there, between the triviality of Sir Potts a lot and the seriousness of the pep talk, and yet the story about the grandmother giving the name. Oh, yes, that makes sense of it, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. There will be something lovable in that very triviality because of the family link. <laughs> so it's either true or it is a diabolical lie. <laughs> David's been under a lot of pressure. <laughs> <this day. laughs> I'm going to take a risk on true. If only one more time, I'm yeah. going to believe. You're going to dare to dream. Yeah. All right. Stephen Hendry, were you telling us the truth about Sir Potts a lot or were you telling us a lie? It was a diabolical <laughs> lie. Oh! The last glimmer of faith in humanity <laughs> flushed down the toilet. <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Stephen didn't give motivational team talks to his snooker cue.